Connecting the Dots, Civil Societies in Namibia. Introducing CSOs and the work they do. There's somewhere you can go, maybe you just didn't know. All these institutions that can help you get through. Physically pay is initially about giving an after school program for kids who are at school. It's a volunteering thing, you know, promotes volunteerism, giving back to the community. Yeah, basically I did a, t a teaching session and the kids are very cooperative. You can see they really want to learn. They are eager, they are, particip they are participative, they help a lot, you know, they teach each other and it's good, you know, it makes kids avoid themselves in things like drugs, you know, doing a lot of unproductive things because you know, it keeps them busy. Then, you know, it also keeps them fit as you see. We're doing sports right now. You know, it's, part of volunteering. it's part of volunteering, you know, getting the kids to stay healthy. And you know, they also, it's not just physically, they also eat healthy, they're given snakes, they have gardens, as you see. And you know, examples of other people who are like giving up to the community are like Dan Craven, you know, he's doing the cycling with the kids, teaching them how to cycle, preparing them for the Olympics and stuff like that. You know, that's volunteerism, and I think it's a very good thing if people volunteer, because as a team, we work together, and we help, and we make Namibia become a bigger and greater nation. You know, we have all the resources we need. We have all we can get, intelligence, you know, active people, we have them. We should just, just go out there and help them, you know. So I gotta bounce, go finish up my practice with the kids. Check it out. Why you always feeling like you're never gonna make it? Take a look around, place your feet on the ground.